Hey guys, this is Ben from Tillmore. Today we are going to be looking at diagnosing a blown fuse. For this job, you are going to want to leave the battery disconnect connected so that we have power back here. <clears throat> We're going to come back here where the fuses are located. This here is the fuse identification chart. And if you look here, say your horn is not working, we'll go down here and search for horn. Come over here to the location and it's F11. Come over here to the top left and find the F11 fuse. And it's the middle row and it's the fourth one in. So if you count one, two, three, four, it's this fuse right here. Um, even if there's no fuse in the spot, still count it. Um, also, if you look on here, it tells you what color is for what amperage. Also, if you pull a five amp fuse out, be sure to put a five amp fuse back in the same spot. Today for this video, you're gonna need a simple test light. You can get that at any hardware store. <clears throat> you're gonna wanna take the ground end and connect it to a clean, unpainted surface. Um, then take the other side and touch it to the fuse test spot. On both sides, you'll see that fuse is working correctly. It has current running through it. And if we come up here to this fuse, it has current on one side, but it does not have current on another side. So we've known that this fuse is blown. If you don't have a test light, a simple way to do it is just to pull the fuse out and visually look at it. If you're unsure, pull a fuse out that you know is good and hold them together um, to check them. Um, and if you have determined that you have a blown fuse, we locate spare fuses in the back of the fuse panel cover. And if you are unsure of the fuse is good or bad, pull a good one out and change it with a bad one. So thank you guys. If you have anything else that you want us to uh, address, let us know in the comments. We're glad to help. Thank you.